Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. We're going to be working on changing multiple units. And today, or, or this session, is on practice questions. So here's some questions. Here's all your conversion factors. I'm not sure if they're all going to be used. I assume they are. And um, pause the video, try these questions. If you want, you can try the first one using two steps. It's up to you. You can do them all using two steps. I will solve the question doing the first one with two steps and doing the other two questions with one step. Okay. The first question, 6.5 feet to 2 meters. So we start with our 6.5 feet and the first thing I want to do is change it to inches. So my plan is to go from feet two inches two centimeters two meters. And the reason I use that approach is because um, I may not have this information when I go into a test, so I have to be able to memorize certain things. I have to be able to memorize this. I also just might not have the information that takes me directly from feet to meters. So this is a, and the truth is if you have the information that will take you directly from feet to meters, then you could use that. But if you don't, this is the approach that you would use. I see that I've put down here two steps. This is actually going to take three steps. So I'll start with 6.5 feet and I'm going to change it to inches. So I multiply by the conversion factor that has inches in the denominator. Whoops, sorry. Feet, feet in the denominator because I want my feet to cancel. And inches in the numerator. And I know that there are 12 inches for one foot. My feet cancel. And now I take 6.5 and multiply it by 12. 6.5 times 12 gives me 78 inches. Now I'm going to take my 78 inches and I'm going to change them into centimeters. So I use the conversion factor of 2.54 centimeters equals 1 inch. So 78 inches times, I put inches in the denominator, centimeters in the numerator. I know that there's one inch for 2.54 centimeters. My inches cancel and I take my 78, which is still in my calculator, and multiply it by 2.54, which equals 198.12. 198.12 centimeters. And at this point, I just tend to keep most of the numbers. That way, my final answer is more accurate. I don't round up as I work through the question. I round up at the end. Now I'm in centimeters and I want to go to meters. So I take my 198.12 centimeters and I multiply it by a conversion factor that has centimeters in the denominator and meters in the numerator. I know that the relationship between meters and centimeters is right here somewhere. One meter is a hundred centimeters, so one meter is one hundred centimeters. My centimeters cancel, so I take my 198.12, multiply it by one, and divide it by hundred, which gives me 1.98. Now I am going to go to three sig figs. I could probably go to two, but let's just go to three. 1.98 meters. Then I go back and I take a look, 6.5 feet. I know that's approximately um, two yards, because I know there's three feet in one yard. So this is approximately two yards. 
two yards is approximate, and remember this is all approximate, approximately two meters, so this is a reasonable answer, 1.98 meters. This question I'm going to do all in one step. I start with 12 gallons and I'm going to milliliters. So I write down my 12 gallons and I multiply it by a conversion factor that has gallons in the denominator and what was my conversion factor? I can go from gallons to liters. So I'll put liters in the top. And I know the relationship is 4.54 liters for one gallon. Now I know what's going to happen here is my gallons will cancel and I'll be left with liters. But the thing is, I want milliliters. So I'm going to multiply it by a conversion factor that has milliliters in the top and liters in the denominator. So my liters will cancel and I'll be left with milliliters. The relationship between liters and milliliters is one liter for a thousand milliliters. So I put my thousand with the milliliters and my one with the liter. My liters cancel, my gallons cancel, and the units I'm left with are milliliters. So what I end up with here is 12 times 4.54 times 1,000 milliliters, and it's all divided by, you can see, 1, because this is 1 times 1. So then, get to my calculator, 12 times 4.54 times 1,000 equals 54 Four eight zero. So fifty four four eight zero milliliters. Or in scientific notation, let's round up two. Let me see how many sig figs. Let's round up to, to two sig figs. Five point four times ten to the four milliliters. Last question. 235 centimeters per second and we're going to meters per hour. And again, I'm going to do this one in one step. But you can do it in two steps. You just stop after the first step and redo it. So 235 centimeters per second. Now, I'm going to change the seconds to hours, so I'm going to deal with the seconds first. So, my conversion factor will have seconds in the numerator and hours in the denominator, because I want hours in my denominator here. I know there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So that deals with my seconds. Now I want to deal with my centimeters and turn them into meters. So noticing that my centimeters in the numerator, I want centimeters in the denominator because I want my centimeters to cancel. And I want meters in my answer, so I'm putting meters up here. Now the relationship between centimeters and meters is one meter equals a thousand centimeters. So one meter, e oh sorry, 100 centimeters. So I put 100 in the denominator. My centimeters cancel. My seconds cancel. And I'm left with units of meters per hour. So rewriting this, I have 235 times 3600 times 1 meter, remember the units, divided by 1 hour times 100. So the units I'm left with are meters and hours. So I take 235 multiplied by 3600. I'm not going to multiply it by the 1, and I'm going to divide by 100, which gives me 8460.
eight four six zero meters per hour. <clears throat> Writing that as uh, scientific notation, that would be eight point four six, and I'm going with three sig figs here, times ten to the three meters per hour. Have a good day. That was presented by Wise Guys.